All right, Bolo Buddies, we are headed to the Benz. Another long day of shopping. I just love it. Um, I'm going to show you the treasures that I find. I'm going to pop up screenshots for you of how I listed everything. So, hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing right all right let's get started all right so i usually try to get there when they first open because there has been a cart shortage so if you do not get there early you do not get a cart and um does anybody need any fishing worms <laughs> i don't know if those things are expensive or not would you have picked them up there is my friend erin who is sourcing with me she's my friend that actually um came with me and she sourced a bag of stuff for me. If you guys missed that video, you definitely wanna go and check it out. So little small trains and stuff like that, you're gonna see me pick a lot of that type of, a lot of those items up. I will bundle them in small lots. Some of them I list individually. I just listed one recently and it was an Emily train and it actually sold pretty quick. I picked up that soap because sometimes soaps are retired. That one did not end up comping out well, unfortunately. Um, I'm wondering if I should have got that big piece of wood track right there. Would you guys have got that or left it behind? I may have missed out on something good there. You guys let me know in the comments if you see anything I missed. Um, if you can timestamp it, that is even better so that I can go back and take a look at what you're talking about because a lot of times, I mean, we're moving so quickly and I use my phone and I dig with one hand so sometimes I don't see everything, but I just go and do my best. So again, lots of small toys. I am a small toy picker upper. Um, I sell individual toys, some of them for seven bucks, some of them for 15 or 20, just for one small toy. It really depends. You know, I thought I picked that up. I can't remember if the tail ended up being broken or if I haven't listed it yet, but I could not find it in my active listings, which is really strange. So um, I did pick up this little Moochies. It was new in the package. So anytime I can find items that are new in the package, new old stock, um, I pick them up. Even if they're a bread and butter, if they've got a barcode and brand new, I know that they will sell eventually. Um, so yeah, I just, especially if they're lightweight, it just seems like a no brainer to me to pick those up. I don't even usually comp them out, especially if they're toys. I did pick up this little ghost. He was just cute. Um, I believe he glows in the dark. So um, I can't remember if I had that up before Halloween or not, but it has not sold yet. So we will probably wait patiently until next Halloween for that guy, but that's okay. He doesn't take up much space. He's very lightweight. I probably paid like a quarter for it. I did pick this up also. Um, I don't believe I've got that one listed yet. That might be something um, that will do well on Poshmark that maybe somebody will bundle. Um, if you're new here, uh, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I mainly on my channel talk about sold items. Um, I do a lot of what sold videos and I teach about items to be on the lookout for, which is what I call a Bolo item. So be sure to check out some of my other videos. Uh, I do some thrift with me's, but I've really been starting to do a lot more of these Goodwill Benz videos. I really enjoy them. I love digging in the Benz, and I, I feel like it's a nice way to take you guys with me and entertain you, but still keep it educational with the uh, screen shares. And I will definitely let you know if something has already sold, but a lot of times when I, I get it home, I list everything, I pop up the screen shares, I do the voiceover, and I get the video out. So there's not a huge lapse in time between listing and getting the video out in most cases. <laughs> Sometimes it just depends. Um, I'm a little distracted right now. I'm currently working on my garage. Um, I had a huge money pile there that I'm trying to get to the basement so I can get my uh, vehicle in the garage. And I actually have a video that says, Am I a hoarder or am I a reseller? So you guys can definitely go check out that video if you would like to see how I store my inventory and how big my money pile is. 
This one here is more of a vlog style video, which is something new I'm trying out. So you can stay tuned for more of those hopefully in the future. I did pick up that Ariel. I have not listed her yet either, but I do have her in my to list pile. She may be, I may stick her with something else. Haven't decided yet. Sometimes you can put uh, like Disney figures, like the princesses together and different things like that. I mean, when you're sourcing at the bins, the items that are toys, I mean, $1.89 a pound, they're just so cheap that I, I just got to save them. I got to save them from the landfill. And there's so many people out there that are looking for these small toys as replacements and stuff like that. I don't know if I should have got that. I can't remember if I comped it out. It looks like I put it in my cart. I know that some of the, I know for sure the beach body is a Vero. So you want to stay away from those. This little guy was so cute. I picked him up. I've got him listed in my eBay store. So everything that you're going to see that I pop up a screen share for, these items are available in my eBay store. I do have it linked below. I do offer a 20% off coupon to my viewers. So if um, you decide you want to purchase something at checkout, if you put Bolo Buddies, all one word in the checkout, you will get 20% off your order. That does not work with best offer, just FYI. All right, and I do have a video that teaches you how to create a coupon. If you don't know how to do that, it's definitely a great feature. So I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. On Mercari, I typically do free shipping and I uh, ship through Pirate Ship, and I will increase my price to cover the shipping. So this one right here sold super fast. It's just a little Goodnight Moon plush. It goes with a book and it sold really quickly. Um, really happy about that one. It was just a bread and butter. All right, you guys, a big bag of hair accessories. Hey guys, welcome to today's video of items that you may not think are worth money, but really are. Today is going to be this barrette. It is a vintage barrette. I purchased this at an estate sale. I always purchase these when it says this. Always look on the back and if it says made in France, it's a definite pickup. This little cutie sold for $19 plus shipping on its way to Washington. So I always, always, always pick up barrettes and hair accessories. A lot of them are vintage and a lot of them are worth money. Just wanted to give a little shout out to Double T's Treasures. I saw that on her Instagram and I asked her if I could share that with you guys. So definitely go subscribe to her. I will link her down below. So the Ken doll that I just showed, since I got my screen shares popped up, that guy sold for $12 plus shipping. So super excited to move that one quickly. And again, I talked about this in another video and somebody actually thanked me for mentioning it. When you watch these what sold videos, not everything sells in a week. A lot of items sit and sit and sit. Um, if your item sells in a week, I would say that you either underpriced it or someone was just looking for it and you had it priced just right. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it's just, it's common for items to sit for a month or two months. I, I mean, a lot of people look at sell-through rates and they will only pick up things with a really good sell-through rate. That is an option. Those people are probably selling their items quicker, but you're gonna have to do a lot more research and you are gonna be very limited to how many items you have in your store. Um, is sell-through rate important? Yeah, definitely, especially if um, you only have a limited amount of time and resources and maybe you work a full-time job, you really just wanna pick up the things that are gonna sell quickly and utilize your time really wisely. I do this full time, so I'm great with the long tail bread and butter items. I will buy the things that it's gonna take the right person to pick up. And I'm okay with waiting and being patient, but I also have a ton of items listed. So I really don't list it and think, oh my goodness, why hasn't this item sold? You know, if you have 20 or 30 items listed, you're constantly thinking, why hasn't it sold yet? Why hasn't it sold yet? If you have thousands of items listed, you start to just not even think about what you have listed. Like, I don't even know what's in my store anymore. I just wait for the cha-ching. So, I mean, everybody does it differently. Just, I don't want you to go on and watch these what sold videos and think that these people are selling these things in one week. Um, a lot of these items are sitting. You have to be patient as a reseller. The La La Lopsy, I think is what they're called. I did pick up, I think, three of them. Two were the same. One had shoes, one didn't. 
So I just priced them a little bit differently. And another one I picked up, this one right here sold super quick. I think that one went internationally. I sold that for $18.60 plus shipping. Fisher Price, vintage Fisher Price, always a pickup. It's a nice bread and butter item. Um, that was like a bowl or a ram. I do check out all of the animals because some of those uh, like Schleich and um, AAA, if they are vintage and the realistic looking animals, some of them can go for $15 to $20. They may surprise you. So definitely give them a look. Um, again, if you don't like smalls and you don't like toys, it's probably going to be something you're going to pass on. And everybody that goes to the bins is looking for something different. This, the bins is big enough for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's so funny because I'll be grabbing for something and no one else is even grabbing for it. Like they're just not even interested in it. So you just never know. I did pick up that duck because the gal that's with me, Erin, she drives a Jeep. So they do that little Jeep thing where they put the duck on the Jeep and um, it's kind of fun. So I grabbed that there for her. All right, we are going to keep digging here. I'm looking in here just to see if there's any LOL dolls. There were not. Um, so I went ahead and left that behind. A lot of times people, you know, donate the cases. I'm not sure why, but they do. Um, I guess maybe somebody could want it. Time is running out. I, it's some sort of maybe educational game. I did look that up. Ended up putting that back. Um, I do always mention that board games are something that I really like to cross post to Poshmark. And sometimes I only put them on Poshmark depending on how heavy they are. Because um, if they're oversaturated on eBay, it's just, it's just not worth it. Because the shipping is going to be like $10 to $20 depending on where it's going. Uh, Poshmark, you've got that flat shipping fee of I think it's $7.95. I could be wrong. That might have went up a little bit. So that is one tip, um, put heavier items, five pounds or less on Poshmark, like games and like department 56. Now I do know there are measurement restrictions on Poshmark, so don't get too big. Um, but as far as weight and uh, dimensions, I think you're pretty safe if they can fit in all of the priority mail shipping boxes. And if you don't know, you can go to usps.com and you can order free shipping supplies there is a large flat rate box that is a game box and it's really, really big and long and it's great for games. And you can use flat rate boxes on Poshmark. So if you didn't know that, that is a great box to pick up to use on Poshmark. All right, so I typically start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. I do use List Perfectly. I have a demo video down below if you guys want to check it out. And um, I noticed that eBay just started the thing where you can spend um, your money instead of getting a payout, which is what Poshmark and Mercari do. And I tell you guys all the time that a lot of times people have their payouts and they just use the, those payouts to shop. So it's important to get your items on different items because there's potential that maybe somebody on Poshmark is only looking on Poshmark. They're not looking on eBay. So that is why I cross post. I do, um, like I said, use list perfectly. And if you guys want to check that out with the video down below and you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month of list perfectly. Um, I've been using it since 2019 and I still love it. So I uh, highly recommend it. All right, I did find this Lego game if you guys aren't familiar with it. Um, I don't think it was complete. I did not count all the pieces. So what I decided to do was part it out. And that one piece um, or the one set part of it already sold. So this Hawaiian girl, I just thought she was interesting. I'm not sure what she is. She has a weird thing on her foot, but um, I don't know. Maybe she had a stand originally. I did go ahead and pick it up. Um, I grabbed that cup to see if my friend was interested in it. She makes these really weird drinks um, that look like pee. And I was like, do you want this cup? There's my friend who drinks the pee. Okay, it's not really pee, but it is a green drink. <laughs> I can't remember if she ended up taking the mug or not, but she's going to watch this and be like, did you just really tell people I drink pee? I'm <laughs> I don't know. It's some vitamin drink or something. I'm sure it's very healthy, but it just looks gross. <laughs> anyway, just looking through um, some books and stuff here and records and 
this one was really just a bunch of heavy stuff. Kind of hard to, to kind of hard to look through. A lot of media. I, I usually skip the media. Probably should do better at looking at that. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you pick up the media? I see some people that just sit there and they just grab all the media and it's like they throw it in their cart. They just grab it all, throw it in their cart, and then they scan it and then they throw it back. So I don't know. I've heard people do that with clothes also. I, I have a tendency to stay away from the clothes. All right, this doll. Oh my goodness. The face is like so realistic and cute, but my goodness, it was so gross. Um, it had something yellow on it, but it was just a stain. I smelled it. It didn't smell gross. Um, yes, I did say that I smelled it. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like urine or something because it was kind of yellowing, but sometimes white fabric will yellow. Uh, I don't know what was on it, but it didn't smell bad. And it had a lot of scuffs and marks. I did my best to get those off, but a lot of them did not come off. So what I did is I did a video showing the condition. I put that on my reseller testing Bolo products channel, and I made sure that the person buying it went and watched the video. And she said that she did. She said that she loved it and she still wanted it. And I got a message from her and great feedback and she loved the item. So I mean, some of these things that you pick up that you're like, is anyone going to buy this? And then they do. So it happens. It's absolutely, um, people do buy damaged items all the time. I mean, you can put a cute outfit on that baby. That little baby's face was so cute. The reason I picked the doll up is it was signed on the neck. So if it would have been in better condition, I definitely could have sold it for more. So always check the back of those dolls necks. Uh, once you check that, you should be able to get a name. Uh, some of them are numbered and then you can look those up. Really easy to look up there. Little Rudolph, we've got Christmas coming. So definitely gonna pick up those plush. I love picking up plush. So you will see a lot of plush in my videos. Uh, sometimes they bring out bins of plush and I just get so excited. I actually found a grail plush. And if you guys missed this video, you have got to go watch it after this. All right, these blank tapes, always a pickup for me. Those sold super fast. Um, so the grail item, you guys, when I pulled that plush out of the bin, I just could not even believe my eyes. And it was, um, I did a collab video with the Dumpster Diva and it was a scavenger hunt. So one of my items was to find a plush. So you know I used that plush as my um, scavenger hunt item. But definitely check out the Dumpster Diva also. And this is what her scavenger hunt video looks like so that you guys can go find it as well. All right, we are gonna keep on digging. Um, another thing that you guys may want to go check out is um, I did a collaboration video with a bunch of my Bolo Buddies members, and the winner was Kristen, a rural squirrel. And I sent her $40 to spend at the Goodwill bins. And you can check out this video to see what she found. So Kristen, a rural squirrel, loves doing challenges. So I just felt like it was appropriate to give her a challenge as her award for winning. So she did a great job and she uh, spent $40. I don't even think she spent the entire $40 and she is going to turn that in. She turned it into $800. Can't remember what was in that bag. So I don't know if I listed anything or not. I don't, I feel like it might've been like beads or something. So I'll probably just throw that in a toy lot. Um, I'm surprised I didn't pick that up because it's Paw Patrol and it's Everest. Everest is a little bit harder to find. I probably should have grabbed that. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe uh, some stickers were off of it. Not really sure, but uh, this is a pep of the pig house, but unless it's got the pigs, I just decided to leave that behind. Uh, the monster truck, again, I'm surprised I didn't grab that. This is um, a new old stock toy, but I have had those in the past. I bought a bunch of those at a Toys R Us going out of business sale and they took forever to sell. I don't even know if I ended up selling them or if I ended up donating them, um, but they, I, I don't know. Yeah. So I left that one behind because <laughs> I tell you guys, I pick everything up that's new in the box. Da, da, da. Well, I didn't pick that up. I think that was Squinkies. And you guys, I just sold, uh, this made me think of it. I did not get it at the Goodwill bins. I picked it up at a garage sale 
and it was a set of squinkies that had the little castle and it had a ton of squinkies but i'm gonna pop it up it has nothing to do with this video but you guys have got to see this bolo okay before i show you that let's talk about this doll oh my goodness okay if these are in good condition they can do okay but this thing was trashed i don't even know what i was thinking but i bought it and it's sitting in my store and i don't think it's ever gonna sell but sometimes i surprise myself and then i'm looking at this hat and i'm like I probably should have got that hat. I don't know. It was kind of cute. I did pick up this turtle. All right, so let's talk about the squinkies. I ended up selling the squinkies. I had them on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. So I started it on eBay and cross-posted to the other platforms, and it sold faster on Poshmark, and it sold for big money. Let me show you what it sold for. All right, so it sold for $136. After fees and everything, my profit was $107 on that. I paid $5 for that at a garage sale. So that was a huge bolo, but there were so many little squinkies and they were all, um, she was so happy about her duck and they were all like little Disney characters. So I knew someone was going to pick that up for sure. I'm like, here's your duck for your Jeep. <laughs> She's like, thanks. <laughs> so funny. I did pick up this tin. I have not listed it yet. I'm going to look it up, look up comps. Sometimes I will pick those things up just to um, ship things in, like jewelry and stuff like that, little tins. Uh, just presentation when I ship. I do have a Peppa the Pig in my hand, and I actually found the other Peppa the Pig, and they just sold. So let me grab the sold for you guys. I lied, I lied, I lied. I did sell some Peppa the Pig vehicles, but they were actually from a garage sale. It was a different um, Peppa the Pig uh, two piece lot. So I apologize. Um, I thought I was going to have a little sold listing there for you, but yeah, any of the pep of the pig vehicles, uh, Paul patrol, I, I pick all that stuff up. I have a whole tote of Paul patrol that I need to get listed. I have a whole tote of loving family, a whole tote of Fisher Price Little People. Okay, so this is a Matrix VHS. Sometimes I do better with VHS on Mercari. Um, I had a Halloween uh, VHS and I had it on eBay and I cross posted it to Mercari and Poshmark and it sold for way more on Mercari. I compared the comps, looked it up, I priced it higher on Mercari than I did on eBay and it sold faster on Mercari. And you'll see that in one of my what sold videos. I think it already posted, but um, I can't remember what it sold for, but 50, 60, maybe even 70 bucks for that VHS. It was a sealed Halloween VHS. And those are typically the ones that will go for a little more, but there is no way, no way I would have gotten as much on eBay because it was saturated on eBay and there weren't as many on Mercari. And again, some people only shop on Mercari. They don't even go to eBay. They don't like looking on eBay. I will say that I really enjoy shopping on Mercari. Um, I just think it's an easy platform to, to shop on. So I buy quite a bit over there on that platform. If you guys are not on Mercari and you want to check it out, um, I do have a referral link down below. And how that works is when you use that link to join, you will get $10 credit to shop. And then if you list items and sell $100 worth of stuff, they give you another $20 to shop. And then um, I also get a credit. So I always appreciate it when you guys use my links down below. It doesn't cost um, you guys anything extra to use my links and it does help me out. So um, I just wanna say thank you for all of you who have um, used those links to make purchases or subscribe to different um, things that I, services that I use. And if I am shouting them out, it's because I use them and love them. So um, definitely check out my links in the description. All right, that's a toy gun. I don't know if you guys know or not, but if you list toy guns, they have to have an orange thing on the end. See how that has an orange cap? Um, if they don't, that item, um, I'm pretty sure it can be a policy violation. If anybody has any more feedback on that, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, I also do videos on Vero's or policy violations, items that people have gotten suspended for on eBay, which these are great educational videos. What I do is I post a link in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. 
Um, check that out. It's linked down below if you're not a member. But um, I ask everybody to share current things that they've had removed from eBay for policy violation or Vero. And then I create a video. So it keeps everybody up to date on current items being removed from eBay. And it is always changing. Most recently, um, I did a video on a hazardous materials item that has always been allowed to be listed. And all of a sudden, um, because of the hazardous materials uh, deal, uh, I think it's through USPS. I'm not really sure if something changed over there or what happened, but we are not allowed to list bubble lights. There's something inside of the bubble lights. I can't remember what it's called. You can check out that video if you want for more details about this but um, those bubble lights will get removed. And it's not just the vintage ones. From what I am understanding, they are removing all bubble lights. So those are the lights you put on your Christmas tree that you plug in and as they heat up, they bubble and they're super, super cool. But apparently uh, whatever's inside is poisonous and considered a hazardous material and eBay does not allow us to list them anymore. So just FYI, do not list those because they will get pulled. I actually had some listed and mine got pulled. I just got a letter from or an email from eBay that basically just said, this is hazardous material. Do not list this again. And they just took it down. So, okay, now I'm going to show you guys that bag of breads. Right. So when I see bags like this at the bins, I'm like, yes, please. I mean, come on. It's a bag of breads. You guys know that I have really done super well with, um, uh, Vintage Bretts. Now, are there vintage Bretts in here? Probably not, but maybe. Uh, this right here looks like it's new old stock. It's a long to short hair in minutes. The perfect bob. So, I mean, I can probably make my money back with that. I'm not certain. This is maybe some sort of uh, wrap for your hair. Okay. So, this first one, what you're going to do is you're going to open them up. Oh, right there, guys. Goody. So you should be able to find some marking somewhere. Now, is this big money? Probably not. Is it vintage? Probably not. I don't really know how to know um, unless it's the one Brett's that I've sold for like crazy money. I do know about those. Um, but I can at least mark this goodie and do a little more research. It's kind of a cool hair Brett. Maybe I should keep it. So I'm just kind of looking in here. A lot of these I'm probably just going to lot. Um, I'm looking for things like, uh, some of them will say France or Italy, if they're, you know, a nicer quality Brett. So we're going to pop it open. Uh, don't see any markings on that one. I'm not certain if this is a Brett or if this is just like, um, a thing that holds socks. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Looks like a sock holder. So I probably won't mess with that. No markings on this one. More than likely, um, I'm going to lot a lot of these up. This is kind of like a faux turtle shell look. Um, again, no markings on that one. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. Um, it's kind of kind of looks like a butterfly. I don't know if it is or not, but um, no markings. But there are two of these, so I could probably list those together. Uh, a lot of these would be good if I uh, cross post them to uh, Poshmark because, uh, you know, people see things in their feed. So unbranded items can do better over there because people search by, you know, the photos sometimes more than description. And um, so cross posting these, I do use this perfectly to cross post. Um, if you'd like to learn how to do that, there is a demo video down in the description. Um, I always say different eyes on your items, different platforms, different eyes. So I think it's a fantastic idea. I will probably lock these up together. If you decide um, after you watch the video that you think you want to try this perfectly, you can use my referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word. And that's going to get you 30% off your first month. So um, kind of a hodgepodge here. You guys, I'm finding more of these. Like, do you think do you think these are from socks or do you think these are some sort of hair thing? They, don't, you know what I mean. The saw things hold your socks. I think that's kind of funny. There's like there's a couple of them. There's like more than a couple. Okay, and it looks like um, I don't know. Maybe I guess I need to use Google Image Search and see if there's 
Oh my gosh, get off there. Okay, so that one's broken, so I'll just throw that to the side. All right, so we'll list these together. I forget what these are called, but I have some of them listed. So um, I did not see a brand on these. Goody does make these as well, so be on the lookout. Another clip, pinch. It's got some cute little gems on it. Can make a really nice little lot. Um, this one has some tarnish. I, it might wipe down, I'm not sure. Nothing special about those, except they're cute. Oh, look in there, do you see it? That one says goody. And again, doesn't mean that it's, you're looking for the stay tight clips um, when you do goody. So put that over there with the goody one. This is just a little, uh, another clippy. So maybe I'll put all those together. Ooh, we have a little spider. So I pulled this out of the Goodwill bins by weight, $1.89 a pound. So um, I don't know, probably two or three bucks in it. Probably weighed a couple pounds, maybe four. I don't know. This one is probably vintage. It says Korea, but um, eh, it's, you know, not nothing great, I don't think. So this must twist around your hair, and there was two of them but the other one is broke. Here's one of the broken pieces from that. This goes with this right here. And okay, this one says, what's it say? Uh, Barcelona, Barcelona, France. Cool. So that one's okay. I don't, a slide type deal. This is just a solid black one. I don't I think we had one of these earlier. Yeah, so those are probably all gonna get listed together. Another one like this. And another one of these clippies. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh, look at that shine. That's interesting. I mean, how on earth do you put that in your hair? Let's see if it's marked. Ah, get out of there. Hmm, no markings that I can see. But that is beautiful. I mean, for like a wedding or like a bridesmaid, it looks like all of the gems are there. So I, I don't really know what to call this though. There's another one. This one's missing some stones. So I won't mess with that one. Um, probably put it like in a jewelry jar and somebody can uh, fix it. Another one of those. This one. It's a little clip that says, love me, love me. This one's just, let's open it. See if there's anything on the inside that tells us anything. No. So just another clip, but man, um, that would be for like a, a ponytail to go over a ponytail probably because see how thick it is and this is what they normally look like just another one of these standard Woo! oh let's try this again that one's a good one I use these when I uh, pull my hair up when I'm straightening my hair might have to keep a few this one's cute it's got the little rhinestones on it Little uh, starfish. No markings. Another one of those. We had a pink one. I don't think it had any markings. Okay, this one says something. Look how cool it is. It looks like a fish. It says made in or designed in France, made in Taiwan. So that one might be vintage. And we got one more here little flowers but only one all right you guys that was a pretty good find i think um definitely make some money on this so now i'm going to figure out how to list it and i'll pop screen shares up for you guys thanks for watching